Today, I want to talk about Bozadeng, the Chinese down manufacturer listed in Hong Kong. The stock came to our attention following a short sell report. The short seller alleged that governance was shocking, there was a high risk of fraud, and they felt the stock was worthless. With regards to governance, we agree with the short seller. There are lots of issues and we think the risk of tunnelling is very high. However, in the past, we've noticed that the market will overlook these sort of things as long as the company can deliver growth and dividends. And, having reviewed the accounts, it looks as if the turnaround strategy is working and the company looks cheap. So, we suggest that any potential investor gets in contact with the company and gives both management and the auditors a grilling. However, before we go on, I must point out that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not licensed to give stock recommendations and none of what I'm about to say should be construed as investment advice. There are some important points and I'd like to illustrate what we think anybody who's considering investing in this company should look at. We agree with the short seller with regards to governance. There are problems. It's a family company. Three out of the five executive directors are family. The CFO is no longer a director after the last one left. Worse, there have been related party transactions and there's an ongoing supply contract. Now, you might hope that the counterbalance to this would be some independent directors. Unfortunately, those independent directors can barely be considered independent given how long they've been on the board. And a couple of them have a pretty interesting past with some other somewhat unusual companies. The next topic to focus on is their accounting risk. We look at this and break it down into two key areas. One, the balance sheet. There is a very large financial asset on the balance sheet and in various Chinese companies before, this has proved to be a mirage. Question number one. Question number two is the increase in seasonality. As the company has taken over more of its own sales, the sales have become a lot more seasonal and this leaves management with the opportunity to channel stuff if they so desire and make earnings far more difficult to forecast. Notwithstanding this, when we look to end the accounts, we see that contingent lease payments are rising. So in other words, stores are having to pay greater rent because of rising sales. They're increasing employee numbers, again, presumably because of rising sales, and their bankers are becoming more generous with their credit facilities, both of which would suggest that the numbers may be true. The final area in our governance, accounting and peer performance review is performance. Now, when we look at the company, their margins are roughly in line with the rest of the industry, and we notice where they're not, it's because the business is recovering, which goes along with their turnaround story. Sales are growing again, the old business has almost died off, and everything is starting to look rosy. However, a note of caution. Their audit fees continue to be quite modest, and we worry just how much due diligence is being done to the accounts. To understand why we think Bozideng looks cheap, we think you should look at Prada, another company with family control and some interesting accounting issues. But Bozideng's starting to grow quite strongly and is very profitable, whereas Prada's struggling. If you'd like to know more following this brief introduction, please visit our website or get in touch with us via email. And thank you very much for your time.